Okay, so one other lighting, uh, for example, we said I like it and we can look, it is age light and it's coming from separation for green screen. Um, because I do a lot of compositing photography, I want isolated objects and I use it um, in some most cases, the gray background, because it's a neutral, if I do in Photoshop, easy to isolate. It does not provide some contaminations. So if we have a black, white background, we will have some light contamination on the shoes, but the gray will work very well. So for me, what I need to do, I need to take um, isolation for the object. So in best way to do this, we'll go use it, the grid. Let's go use it for about 35 to 90 centimeters. This is about, um, LNB kind of preset. So right here you can see from top it's helpful because I can just position adjust them right this angle and we can position on around cheeks. So this is will provide this edge light for me that I needed. I can push a little bit back so it will highlight a bit more on the lights but again this is our edge light. Um, Let's check what we have it. We have it also diffuser, but I want to add grid to this. So it will cut some of this light leak. The, because we enable some of the lens flare. So what's happening if I go right here, example, and let's point towards the camera. Okay. And position. So in some case, you can see right there, we have a light leak contamination. This is actually very useful because I will know if my light source too close and creating some effect that I don't want it this way I can observe and fix it okay so let's go back pointing on our model okay so check actually I want to have say a little bit slightly on the back and go forward so this is provide nice edge you can see right here separation from background Okay, we can go ahead and select another one. Before we do, let's go select 640. So it's those different ones. Okay, and again, again, 3590, we'll take another one, put it on this side, reposition right here. So I want to be sure they kind of position together. Okay, we'll select model as well was in just about your shoulder and shoot right there okay let's go to switch 40 and we also select with the grid so it's remove some of this spill light spill so this is we add edge to our model okay let's go to zoom out and Okay, so right here the edge of the model next i want to provide a little bit more action look and we want to have a front light going from a little bit above so for this we'll go select actor box and let's go it's 130 inch so it was a little bit bigger we'll go a little bit up and pointing on a model kind of on your nose okay Notice how we cover one time, um, depend on your studio setting, maybe from top. So this is telling me this, how it will be on the way of my light. So I probably want to bring closer and bring up again. It's, um, one thing what I did not do in this case, I did not lock. So it's sometimes a little bit harder this way. So if I bring closer, go down, let me adjust a little bit. Take bring right there. So it's point to her nose. I'm going to lock uh, my light. So in this case, if I move it, you can see it's kind of following this area. In this case, I can preview and adjust. So I'm going to bring just up front the camera slightly. Okay, and we can go adjust position just slightly above. Okay. Also notice the, um, we don't necessarily have kind of like crane, so I cannot necessarily can take this light um, and change a little bit on my stand 
so position if i want to do um almost crane over i need simulate by disabling tripod in this case moving over and kind of almost this way so that way i can simulate some other positioning for my tripod so we'll go add for example this way let's make maybe a little bit down on her okay like right there and give it kind of hard look middle okay so when we set with lighting and you can play more you can add lights on the bottom other areas but this is very basic uh, for dig digital compositing in some cases I maybe even bring a little bit lower you know try to readjust so we will have a little bit better lighting on a model okay let's go bring back like around here on this case I still have a shape and I gonna rework in digital um, retouching afterwards so let's see what we have so far so I'm going ahead and render and as it going for digital compositing this is actually nice because we have a nice separation of the object from the background we can trace this out as well we have it uh, defined shape but without too hard shadows and usually when you work with um, compositing digital compositing it's much easier to add shadows than highlights because we can add shadows on specific sides and this is uniform kind of lighting going from side so it's very soft feel it okay so think um, let's look one more on diagram and one thing I noticed right here this one's probably 640 640 and this does not set properly so it does not remember my general settings and I will need to probably modify but overall here's my diagram that I wanted so I can also adjust positioning right here so I can preview a little bit better before I rendering okay so like right there I can set there you go so I can save this and next I can export and again use it um, this on a field as I need it